Welcome to Guns Gear Network, everyone. Thank you for tuning in today. Wanted to bring you this video. It's a continuation of a series of videos I've been doing lately on first aid and uh, survival first aid kits, things like that. And it's it's based around the 12 survivors kit that I've put together. And one of the things I want to discuss with you is emergency tracheotomies. So let me first say. And I've, told, I've said this before in other videos, I'm not a doctor, I'm not an EMT, I'm not a paramedic, I'm not any kind of trainer in, in, in medical, anything like that. I do have some medical training. Um, you're going to have to research things on your own, understand your abilities and your limitations, and apply that in certain situations. So let's discuss emergency tracheotomies just for a minute. Um, emergency tracheotomies are utilized, you're trying to get an airway, you're trying because this person cannot breathe. And there was a incident recently on the on Yahoo and a couple other places that I saw. Um, there was a guy, a gentleman eating at a restaurant, got a piece of food, I think it was a steak, a piece of steak lodged in his airway, could not breathe. Well, there happened to be a doctor in the restaurant at the time eating also. So he um, actually uh, uh, did a emergency tracheotomy on this person essentially using a steak knife and a um, some type of tubing, whether it be a drinking straw or a piece of ink pen tubing or something like that. So that's exactly what it, a tracheotomy is. It's when you make an incision in the throat area uh, and, and penetrate the uh, uh, area to create an airway with a piece of tubing once you cut and make that incision. So the only time you would ever use an emergency tracheotomy is under those circumstances when somebody cannot get an airway. You've tried everything. They tried the Heimlich maneuver with this guy first, uh, like three or four people did, could not get it dislodged, and he wound up dying, unfortunately. But there's been many cases where the emergency tracheotomy saved lives. And a good example is I had a really good friend in high school uh, get into a pretty bad car wreck, and the paramedics or EMTs on scene had to do an emergency tracheotomy. So I know you're thinking, well, they were, they were trained, and that's true. However, having these tools... Things such as the NPA uh, decompression needles and you know the NPAs and things like that. Um, here's the thing: that doctor would have been much better off if he had had some of the proper tools instead of a steak knife and an ink pen. So even though you may not feel comfortable or you don't feel like you have the ability to do these things, having the kit or having the tools on hand may actually save somebody's life just because you had it. Nothing else, nothing more. You didn't actually have to do it. The doctor says, hey, has anybody got a first aid kit? And you say, yeah, I've got everything you need. And you roll it out, and now you've helped save that person's life because you had the gear. Um, so keep that in mind. It's not always about performing on that person. That's like, uh, you know, anything. You know, it's like a tourniquet, having it on hand. Yeah, I know how to use a tourniquet, but I may just because I have it help save somebody's life, whether I hand it off to, you know, a paramedic or, you know, somebody that's off duty or a doctor that knows how to use it. And I just hand it off, even though I may know how to use it, but they know they're trained to do it. So keep all that in mind, guys, uh, when we talk about some of these things. So a tracheotomy, emergency tracheotomy, you could actually buy tracheotomy kits that are you know, for medical purposes that are designed for hospital settings, things like that. But in a true emergency tracheotomy, it's nothing more than an incision with some type of sharp instrument and a piece of some type of tubing. Now, um, so keep that in mind, that even in the crude uh, method, it's very, it's very crude at times. And... Um, so what I've done is kind of clean that up to make it a little more sanitary, a little more professional. So if somebody does need to perform an emergency tracheotomy, they at least have some better tools than potentially just a pocket knife and maybe, maybe not a piece of an ink pen or a drinking straw. So what I've did, I've taken some clear surgical tubing and I've saturated it with alcohol, let it dry out really good, and then I placed it in this bag here. So it's semi-sterile, if you will. It's not, uh, you know, medical-grade uh, sterilization or anything, but it's much better than an ink pen that's been in somebody's pocket and, uh, you know, in their mouth and everything else. So this right here is much better than that. I've also included in my kit a disposable sterile uh, scalpel. So these two items here is essentially the emergency tracheotomy kit. Very cheap and very easy. You can buy tubing by the foot, very cheap, and I've just cut it to a couple different lengths. 
and then um the these right here i think i bought like five of them for six dollars including shipping so i have one of these and i have the surgical tubing that i've went in and like i said just sanitized it really good with alcohol inside the tube i just filled it you know squirted some in shook it around and on the outside rubbed it down real good and then shook it all out and let it dry overnight and then just put it inside of this uh these plastic bags so when you would do an emergency tracheotomy, as, as one of the examples I give was the gentleman that had a piece of food lodged, well, the other would be a facial trauma, such as the nose and, and that the mouth and that area is so damaged that... Um, and that possibly could be a pass through, you know, side to side gunshot wound. You know, it could be a major facial trauma from an accident where the face and the nose cavity and all that nasal cavity got destroyed where you can't get a clear airway. You couldn't get something like an NPA through a nasal cavity. So then you would have to go and do an emergency tracheotomy to clear that airway out. So anyway, guys, just want to bring you this little short video about putting together a little emergency tracheotomy kit uh, to have it on hand. Like I said, very cheap and easy. I literally, this whole kit uh, for this may have cost me, you know, a buck at the most to put it together um, to put something like that in your kit. And I think it's, it, to me, I think it's an excellent thing to have, uh, whether you know how to use it or not. At least you have it available if somebody else would be in the uh, on the scene that knew how to do it, didn't have the tools and you had the tools so anyway guys appreciate you tuning in if you got any questions post those below if y'all if you like our videos give us that thumbs up that's always appreciative it's over there in that section in the corner if you would share content it's over there in that section places like google facebook pinterest things like that that's always uh, appreciative also and it helps grow the channel and spread the word as always guys like share and subscribe we'll bring another video shortly have a great day